Hi everyone, welcome to Snitch Talks, a project by Italian Quidditch Association. Today my special guest is uh, Nicole Stern. She is from UK. It is an English snitch runner, and it's uh, very. I think uh, everyone, uh, the most of you, she probably knows her because she is very famous, in my opinion. So, uh, please, Nicole, can you say us something about you and your uh, story with with uh, with Quidditch? So, when did you start to play, and why? Um, so I started to play in 2012, so quite a few years ago, um, just before the Summer Games occurred uh, yeah. in the UK. So I found out about that through Facebook, finding out uh, about playing Quidditch because I wanted to set up a Harry Potter society with my friends at university. And mm -hmm. being the sporty one, I wanted to play Quidditch, discovered it was already a thing. Um, so. I went along to a, uh, a tryout for the UK team and it all went from there and um, I've been I was playing for several years after that. Uh, okay and do you think that uh, during your uh, uh, years of playing as a snitch uh, do you evolve uh, your style of Quidditch so uh, can you describe uh, your style? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so my, my style definitely changed a lot throughout the different years. Um, at the start, it was very much a running around sort of style. Uh, it wasn't very physical. Um, it became mm -hmm. much more physical as the years went on. But being very small um, in stature, mm -hmm. I wasn't really able to just stand and fight all the time. So it became a bit of running and a bit of standing around as well um, because I couldn't stay still it just it had to be a mishmash for me a bit of both mm, okay um i would like i would like to underline the fact that you uh, are one of the first snitch runner woman snitch runner right and uh, it was very amazing because uh, you are the um, the proof that uh, you don't need uh, you don't have to be uh, a big uh, a big man <laughs> to be a snitch, but uh, everyone can do it uh, just to just following their style. <laughs> so thank you yeah. very much for this demonstration. <laughs> um, talking about uh, your experience, uh, do you ever met uh, some seek uh, some uh, any seekers? Uh, all over uh, the tournaments in the world, I don't know, uh, that you are scared of uh, or uh, and why, if you have anyone? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say scared, but I'd say seekers that I particularly uh, I not loved coming against. They were okay. brilliant. Um, uh -huh. So shout outs here to Boris Martin in, um, in France. Such a brilliant seeker, had many, many tournaments against him. He's brilliant. Um, <laughs> Christophola and uh, Rosselli in, um, in, as well, absolutely amazing. Louis Lemaitre, um, uh -huh. Damien Osborne from Australia, brilliant, oh. brilliant seeker. Okay. Um, Salvatore Zolini, uh, Zolino even. Um, ah, okay. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Probably one of my favourite, if I'm honest. Oh, during uh, your uh, years of uh, snitching, uh, there is uh, a game that you that is very impressed in your memory. Def uh, there's a couple. Um, so, I, if I remember rightly, it was Italy versus France in uh -huh. Sartiano in 2015, uh -huh. and that was that was one heck of a game. <laughs> that was fun. I think they were the two teams. I know it's Italy, and I think it was France. And um, that was such good fun, throwing seekers left, right, center, just enjoying being somewhere that wasn't raining, like the UK. Mm -hmm. And oh, such fantastic seekers. <laughs> um, there was a game in um, Germany in 2016 for the World Cup. I got to meet one of the tallest seekers I've ever, ever come across. Mm. Um, Gordy from Canada, who I, I didn't even come up to his shoulders and <laughs> he was so tall. So that was, that was a challenge because his arms were half the length of me. Um, but that was such a fun game. Uh, taking on some of the 
UPS USA seekers as well. And even just, just games um, from small tournaments. So um, LXG in Belgium, in Ghent. Oh, okay. Um, the seekers there. So I, I had one game which was Louis Lemet and Damien Osborne in the same game. And that was so much fun. Mm. Such hard work. Uh, yeah, I can, I can believe it. <laughs> and uh, just a uh, curiosity. When you were a snitch, uh, did you have uh, any tradition before uh, starting the game? Well, um, I didn't so much have a, a thing I did before a game. Um, my thing was uh, what I wore. So I, I've always worn a red bandana. And uh, that's yeah. been, so that is my tradition. Um, but I, I feel I can't do snitching without it because it's mm. it's almost like it's it's my strength if i don't wear it then something might go wrong uh, yeah. and it's been the same one i've worn every single time oh. <laughs> i would like to move uh, our discussion uh, about uh, italia snitches because um, the aim of uh, our department is to follow the growth of our uh, um, Italia Nietzsche, so it would be amazing if you would be um, available to analyze some uh, video of uh, an Italia Nietzsche. It's okay for you? Happy to. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you two videos uh, about mm -hmm. one of uh, Italia Nietzsche. So you can see just, uh, uh, just a little part, obviously, not too all uh, over the not to do all uh, all the video just to see if you see something that uh, you just something to add uh, just an advice or uh, if you see an error uh, just uh, just for this niche they're very good at being able to run backwards they're very very good stance mm, okay yeah that one it, that was a close call then mm -hmm. Well, I I, th I can I can say that uh, in this uh, match uh, the beaters uh, make uh, made uh, a great work because uh, the seekers uh, weren't uh, never alone. So there are <laughs> there uh, there um, there were a very uh, short uh, period of time in which the seekers and the, the snitch uh, were alone. Mm, they're very 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 good beaters. Some very very good throws. Mm. as well okay thank you um, it's keeping well as well on the middle line which is really really good yeah. to see and re is really well aware as well of the um mm. where the speakers are which is really good okay Ooh, playing with fire sometimes <laughs> backwards turning their back slightly but their throws are really good um mm. okay obviously it made it a bit more difficult because they're they're running backwards at the same time. So that is very impressive multitasking. Okay. Really, really good. Really good. Yeah. Okay. This is they're yeah. looking really solid. What? Sorry? They're, they're looking really, really good as a snitch. Yeah. They've, they've got yeah. a good stance when they're when they're standing still. They've they've got a good good stance. Yeah. They're standing well. Uh, this was a, this was a good uh, match also. So yeah. it, you, um, we assist. Oh, I, I, yeah, I assisted to the match uh, in uh, live, uh, so uh, I can feel uh, the the stress for the teams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start again. So, so when uh, you ha uh, when the snitch has uh, to approach uh, direct uh, the seekers, it can uh, control. Uh, the the seekers uh, anyway so i th yeah, think got really uh, good control. do you do you, do you have any advice for uh, this moment because the seekers was uh, very good because he wait for the moment uh, um, move the arms over the, the niche and then enter and catch yeah so, I think. so because the seeker had the snitch had their arms um, on the top of the shoulders they weren't able to bring them down in time to be able mm. to cover that side of themselves. Um, the only way, really difficult to do because of the way they were moving. Um, something I had to do being so small so I had to then be able to run with having my bum stuck out a bit. So bent forwards and sticking out slightly just to add another centimetre or inch might be a bit more challenging here in, because running backwards at the same time. But 
And the only option, I suppose, would be if, rather than just having your arms there, you can feel the movement in the arms starting um, from the shoulders where your hand is. If they move their arms down as soon as they feel the muscles moving and do a sort of sweep, then you can sometimes block that way. But it's it's that was that really was a fantastic catch. Mm, okay. Very um, I agree with you. <laughs> So um, this uh, is uh, another match of the same tournament with the same uh, uh, the same snitch. So okay, oh. the, the snitch uh, snitch cam. Ah, mm -hmm. it's me. <laughs> the seeker is me. Ah. <laughs> I yeah. can see you work then. Quick re mm -hmm. reflex there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Incredibly good at running backwards. Yeah. That's it. There we go. That was the sticking the bum out technique. That was brilliant. <laughs> they are taking, they are really playing with fire running backwards, like running like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's um, a good thing they are very fast, very, very fast. Mm -hmm, yeah. I just move. Okay. This, that was the catch. Yeah. I'll show you again. I thought just... that might be. Ah, yes. So when throwing as a snake, mm. always be aware of where the, the seeker, just because they're on the ground, does not mean that they're out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was a case of make sure if you're going to throw them, turn your body with them so mm -hmm. that your bum is not facing them, just so they don't have that little sneaky opportunity to grab <laughs> you. Yeah. You're not looking. Well, yeah. Very, it's a very sneaky catch. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, catch, for the, yeah, but the seekers, I think, uh, in general, wait for the moment uh, to attach because to attack because uh, the snitch, uh, I see that the snitch uh, were always uh, on the game, so pay m much uh, attention on the game of the seekers and uh, on the game in general. So the seeker is just a game of waiting and attack and waiting, attacking. We uh, have to analyze the movement of the snitch in general. And um, do you, before you conclude the interview, just uh, if I am alone at home, do you have any suggestion to be um, for a training by myself to improve the, the quality of snitching in general? Um. Being on your own, obviously, as a snitch is a bit more challenging, but um, there are certain things you can do. So practicing having a good um, a good stance, so solid legs. So if anyone was then to push you, you wouldn't be able to be pushed mm -hmm. over. So legs bent slightly forward, um, bum sticking out slightly, just a good balance technique. Um, and then practicing being in that stance, but lightly moving your feet moving uh -huh. backwards forward side to side because it it's like a don't uh, it's like dance <laughs> yeah it's like a weird dance in a way yeah only usually it's a dance where you've got two people attacking you at the same time <laughs> dancing would be useful i never think about it <laughs> <laughs> okay that, that would work a little bit especially in obviously we can't practice with a seeker attacking mm -hmm. you but there is nothing to stop you practicing the movements of mm. um, pretending even that, OK, so the, there's a sock hanging up on the washing line. I'm going to dance around it, pretending that it's um, as something I want to push away. And that could be something to work on. Um, there's not a huge amount really as a snitch that you can do on your own, because obviously you need to practice with someone coming at you. Yeah. really from one way or another but um keeping keep the movements going mm. keep the arm muscles moving um would work even doing sort of almost like press-ups almost against pushing yourself up a wall almost and bouncing back up just to keep the arm movements going because it's at least the muscles you're going to be using to push mm. but the, it's, it's obviously a bit more difficult nowadays uh, because yeah. Well, I agree that uh, if you have someone that you, that uh, is available to training with you, it's easier. But uh, nowadays, yes. uh, it's very, very hard. And uh, my advice <laughs> is uh, stay home and training by yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I agree that it's a, 
an emergency uh, moment for uh, everyone all over the world, but uh, we have to make a sacrifice and uh, stay strong together and wait. Nowadays, unfortunately, we have just to wait. Wait so, out to yeah. get through this. And then we can all meet back on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> Okay, uh, Nicole, uh, thank you very much for your time and for this amazing interview. And uh, do you have uh, any special regard to people that is watching us? Um, just that if you want to have a go at snitching, have a go because you won't know if you're any good at it until you give it a go. Uh. Just because you are shorter like me or you are really tall or if you are bigger in build it doesn't matter every single person can be a stitch runner you just play to your own strengths give it a go thank you oh my god <laughs> thank you <laughs> no it's been my pleasure thank you for letting me do this uh it was a pleasure so nicole thank you again and uh, i hope to see you again Definitely. <laughs> and uh, everybody, uh, thank you to spend your time with us too. And uh, I hope that uh, Snitch Talks will give you an extra motivation during this uh, quiet moment. And uh, from Alessia and Nicole, uh, Nicole uh, goodbye and uh, see you on the next episode of Snitch Talks uh, with uh, a new special guest. Thank you again to everyone and uh, bye. <laughs> Thank you.